By default, there is no option in MS Excel that helps in the identification of your project CP. But there are many customization options in Excel that allow you to create your own CPM for a project. Now we would like to share a guide to make it in Excel. Creation of Hierarchy Diagram With the help of a hierarchy diagram, we can make a flowchart of our project tasks list and activities in descending order. In this process, the work breakdown structure plays an important role. Prepare the spreadsheet in Excel. Now evaluation process is the next step, for this purpose we create an activity list with time estimation and path required to complete the activity. Next in this video, the activity list option, we put a complete list of our project activity list as well as we set time duration or milestone under the option of duration. After that, we put specific paths that are chosen under the option of activity path. Identify your project's critical path. As we know that, CPM is the path of completing a project with maximum time required. But to evaluate a critical path we have to calculate all activity paths and their required duration time. Mostly, we evaluate the critical paths by choosing the longest path to complete a project this is the common method. But in the Excel sheet, we can use the max function that will provide us automatically CP. In some project manager's opinion, the max function of Excel is an effective and error-free way to make a CPM. CPM and Gantt chart. Now it's time to make a project schedule, execution plan, risk management plan, timeline, and Gantt chart to make these plans presentable and visualize. Critical path analysis and project management. Critical path analysis plays a vital role when it comes to managing a project as it efficiently defines the project scope and main goals of the project. This concept is mainly focusing one thing at a time. As in critical path analysis, you pick a task and you do not start another one once you complete the first task. Subsequently, in the critical path method tasks are completed in a timely order and proper sequence of arrangement. It is possible to have more than one critical path in a project at a time. Therefore, in this case, different paths run simultaneously but parallel to each other. Another important point is it is not essential for the critical path to have all the most important tasks in it. Subsequently, it is not imitative that the critical path must be the significant task of the project. The main concept of critical path analysis to identify which activities and tasks need special attention must be completed first for project success.